hi guys welcome back to another video of greatest act today in this video we are going to create a coming soon website or landing page using html and css so this is very beautiful ui design you can see this logo in the top left corner and we have the button in the right side and after that you can see this title and one email subscription form and at the bottom we have some social media icons in the background of this web page we have one image and i have added one color layer over this background image and you can see the gradient color in these buttons so we will create this web design with the help of html and css so let's start this video here in this folder i have one html file one css file and another folder called images you can see some icons one logo and background image that i will be using on our website you can find all these images download link in the video description next we will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structure and this one is the css file in this html file i have added this title coming soon page great stack then we have added the link rel style sheet and href style.css so it will connect the html and css file next we will add the codes within this body tag that will be displayed on our web page so here let's create one div with the class name hero and we will add the css for this div so write this class name here in the css file and here we will add some css properties we will add the width height and background image So for this div we have added width and minimum height then I have added the background image and in this background image I have added the URL and file path of the image. It is in the images folder and the file name is background.jpg. Then we have added the background position and background size, added some padding 10 pixel from top and bottom and 8% from the left side and right side. Then text align center and color white. After adding this. Let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this image on the complete web page. Let me close this browser. I will open the web page with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically. So you can see the same web page again, but the URL has been changed. Now we will come back and within this div, we will add one nav tag and in this nav, there will be one logo and one button so let's add one logo with the img tag file path of the image which is images slash logo dot png and we will add a class name so let's add the class name logo and here we have to add one button also so let me add the button text get in touch and with this button we will add one class name btn after adding this come back to the web page you can see this logo and this get in touch button next we have to align these elements so let's come back and here we have the nav tag so we will add the css for this nav tag write it here in the css file and here we will add the width 100 percent so the navigation bar width will be 100 percent display flex and align items center and justify content space between so that the logo and buttons will be aligned horizontally there will be a space between both element so you can see logo in the left side and this get in touch button in the right side and still we have the space in the left side and right side because we have added the padding here of eight percent after adding this we have to add the css for this logo let's copy this one add it here and here we have to add the width so width will be 140 pixel and cursor pointer you can see perfect size for this logo next we have to add the css for this button let's add this class name that is btn and here in this button we will add some css properties So 
so for this button i have added the linear gradient color then changed the button color and font size added some padding that will be space inside the button and border radius 30 pixels so that the corners will be round then i have added the border outline 0 and cursor pointer after adding this you can see this button looks good in this background we have the image but we have to add one color over this image so let me come back to the css file and we have added the background image in this hero so before this image we will add one linear gradient color so here let's add linear gradient and comma in this linear gradient we have to add two color codes and there will be one angle so let's add angle of 45 degree then we will add the first color code with the rgba it is 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.85 write a comma and add another color code let me copy this paste it here and here we will update it 1180 0 and 255 after adding this you can see this color on the background image now it is looking beautiful next we have to add some elements on this web page that will be the text and form so let me come back to the html file and after this nav here we will add another div with the class name content and within this div we will add the title in h1 tag so here we will add our title text our website is coming soon then we will add one form and in this form there will be one input field to enter the email id and one submit button so let's add input type will be email and placeholder placeholder is the text displayed inside the input field email address and it will be required after that we have to add one button so the button type will be submit and here we will add the button text button text is subscribe with this button let's add the class name btn that we have already created here btn after adding this let's come back to the website you can see this title our website is coming soon then input field and one subscribe button next we have to add the css we will add some space from the top and design this submit form let's come back and here we have the class name content write it here in this css file and for this class name we will add the css properties so for this content we will add margin let's add the margin of 15 percent from the top left right auto and zero at the bottom now within this content we have the title in h1 so for this title let's add the font size of 65 pixel and font weight of 400 so our text is here we have to make this text bold coming soon only this part so let's come back and here we will add one span tag span open and close here so we have the coming soon text within this span so in this css file let's add this one then write a span and for this one we will change the font weight font weight will be 700 now you can see this coming soon text is bold after that we have to design this form where we have added the input field and button so let me come back and here we have the form tag just copy this one add it here now for this form we will add the width width will be 90 percent and let's add one maximum width it will be not more than that so maximum width will be 600 pixel 
after that we will add the height height for this form so it will be 65 pixel and background it will be white let me add the margin auto so it will be at equal space from the left side and right side in this one we will add display flex then align items center and border radius of 40 pixel we will add some space from the top so margin top 40 pixel and margin at the bottom also now you can see we have the white box for this form and in this form we have the small input field and this button so we have to increase the length of this input field so it will use the all available space let's come back and here we will add form and in this form we have the input field with the input tag so here just add flex one so it will use all the available space in the row then we will add the padding of 20 pixel and 30 pixel after that we will add the font size so the font size will be 16 pixel and here we will remove the border border will be zero and remove outline also outline zero and the background will be transparent because we already have the background in the form which is white color now you can see we have beautiful input field here we can type our email id next we have to add the css for this subscribe button so let's come back and here we will add this form and within this form we have the button with the class name btn so for this btn we will remove the padding let's add padding 0 and we will increase the width it will be 150 pixel and height will be same as the form height which is 65 pixel and we will add the border radius of 31 pixel we have the placeholder text email address so we have to increase the size of this text to increase the size of the placeholder text we will add this form input here and write double colon placeholder so for this placeholder just add the font size 16 pixel that's it so you can see the changes in the font size of this placeholder after creating this beautiful form we have to add some social media icons so let me come back to the html file and after closing of this content div here we will create another div with the class name links within this links we will add some icons that will be clickable so here we will add the a tag and in this href you can add the url of the social media page like facebook.com instagram.com slash your username and before closing of this a tag we can add our link text or link image so we will add the image img tag file path of the image images slash let's add the first image which is instagram.png just duplicate it and update the image pinterest then the next image is telegram and the next one is drivel and in these href you can add the exact url of your social media page after adding this we will come back to the website and let's see we have these icons here just below this form so we have to add some space and change the images size just come back and copy this class name links write it here write dot links and in this one we will add margin from the top to add some space let's add 14 percent and within this links we have the a tag so we will add a and for this anchor text we will add the margin we will add the margin of 10 pixel and within this a we have the icons with the img tag so for these images we will just add the width it will be 30 pixel that's it 
after adding this again come back to the website and you can see these social media icons are perfect we can click on these icons so finally we have created this beautiful ui design of coming soon page with the help of html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video